Hello, hello, and welcome back. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a typical fan oven heating element. All that's needed to achieve this is a screwdriver, a pair of pliers, a work light, and a new heating element. Typically, the cheapest place to buy an element is going to be an online store. But you do have to pay careful attention to the number of connections, either two or three, and also the wattage of the element itself. They're normally all round about the same diameter, so they should fit in that respect. A more powerful oven is likely to have three coils instead of two, so that's something else to check. Now, I've replaced a couple of these elements, and what I would recommend is to, when you're buying one is to make sure that it has these two supportive joining brackets between the two elements. And I'll show that reason why a little bit later. Finally, it's worth noting that you can buy pretty much all of the elements and thermostats for your oven online. So there's no real need to call out an engineer just because one has blown. Before you order your new part, you're going to have to check what wattage and how many coils your oven currently has. So safety first, make sure that the oven is turned off. Now when you look at the back of your oven, you know, typically you'll have an enclosure for the fan and this is normally held on with two or maybe three, possibly four screws. First job is to remove the screws and take off the element cover. Once you've got it off, you'll be able to see the element itself. Now if you look on the base plate, on the front of the base plate, you can normally see the wattage of the element that you need. And that's important when you order a new part. Also make note of how many coils your element has. So once you have this information, you can go ahead and order your element. Okay, let's assume you've got your element, you now need to replace it. So you remove the mounting screws on the base of the element here and sort of carefully wiggle and gently try to pull the element out from the oven. Be careful here because what you don't want are the wires to suddenly spring off and disappear into the back of the oven. That means you'll have to take the back of the oven off. Once you can see the wires, I'd recommend that perhaps you take a photograph on your phone here because as you can tell there's three wires here. You've got the positive, the return and the earth and you want to make sure you get them back on the right way. Take a pair of long nose pliers and carefully wiggle and remove the terminals from the element but be sure not to lose them in the back of your oven. Once you have the old heating element out it's always worth just checking it side by side with the new one. Now do you remember I said about how important those stays were between the coils? Well, if you look at the old one I've taken out you can see how badly it has started to distort as it's aged. Now if you haven't got those stays you'll find that they will deform a lot quicker. Right just to put the new element back in once again use your pair of pliers carefully put on the spade connectors. Once the connectors are on just carefully push it back into the casing and tighten the screws. We can now go ahead and test the oven, so switch back on the power and just let it come up to heat and uh, make sure that the oven is getting hot, etc., before you finally put the cover on. And once the cover is securely back on, that's it. Job done, and hopefully you've saved yourself many pounds, dollars, and euros from calling out a technician who will just come and do basically the same thing. Right, well, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please subscribe if you want to see more things like this. But as for now, I'd like to say, as always, cheers and thanks for watching.